What do you think? You gonna eat some? Think? Yeah. There you go, that's my girl. Neuroplasticity is the clinical definition of hope. The brain finds itself when it moves and not before. So it's like when you take a step, you're actually falling until the other foot catches you. So sometimes you need to just start failing forward and then, and then get your feet underneath you as you go. So you gotta put yourself in motion to find out where you're at. So uh, my first knowledge that something was wrong is I had a seizure on April 14th, 1998. They found a, a plum-sized tumor in the front part of my brain. All of the gas went out of my spirit and I knew I was pretty well a dead guy. I said a lot of prayers because up here, when you're going into the hard drive, you're worried that as soon as people start tinkering around there, oh my God, I hope they don't get those memories that are really special to me. Not just my phone number, but who everybody is, you know, how to shift a four speed, what my babies felt and sounded like when they were born. I, there were just so many things uh, that I didn't want to ever lose because they were who I was. Yeah, I just, I, I had so many great people in my life. I did not survive by just medical treatments alone. I had no idea that I could be vulnerable and people would want to help save me. My name is T. Period Frank Box, and I am a independent living advocate and the durable medical equipment manager for Access Alaska. DME is a reuse program where we take okay. donated medical equipment and put it back in service for the community to use at no cost. Well, and it's amazing the people that we help are people in crisis, people that will almost break my ribs hugging me, they're so happy. If, when you can give somebody hope when they have none, that's a great job. Sometimes we just sit and problem solve with somebody and we don't give them anything else except just help them problem solve something that they'd never even thought about doing it. I'm singing in the rain, singing in the rain. Don't be doing any flossing over there. <laughs> My independence looks different than everybody else's because we're all different. Nobody really knows from my outward appearance that I have challenges. My recovery is going pretty well, but it is still a recovery. You're never done. You have to find yourself where you're at. You have to be in motion. And I'm always hopeful that things can get better um, and continue to get better. Well, if I could go back in time, that lack of faith that things were gonna work out, I would do everything I could to dispel that. Being willing to take a step and trust and, and not fear falling, because if there's not somebody there to catch you and stop you from falling, there'll be somebody to come along and help pick you up and put you on the right track. <laughs>